Good afternoon and welcome. This is the Veterans Forum. It's a program that we're doing in conjunction with the Library of Congress's Veteran History Project. Now today we're shifting with another thing. This young fellow down here, <laughs> Irving, uh, that's what he used to be like. And we're going to find out what happened in between then and today. I've been hearing about William Dunkerley's mushrooms for years from local chefs. And now today I'm visiting Dunk's Mushrooms in Brentwood, New Hampshire. Hi, I'm Denise Landis. Welcome to Outside and In with the Cook's Cook. I'm Tracy Miller and I'm Tara Whitney and I wrote the women's self-care journal called This Is Me, Inquiries, Exercises and Ideas for Living Your Healthiest Life. And I wrote Hungry, Trust Your Body and Free Your Mind Around Food. This is a nice way for us to circle back yeah. because has it been like six years? At least six years. At least six or seven years when we first crossed paths at um, Blue Moon. My name is Steph. I'm the manager here at Water Street Bookstore. Um, we're so delighted to have John Kane, the author of The Last Seat in the House, The Story of Hanley Sound, as well as the subject of the book, which doesn't usually happen. That's actually kind of cool, uh, Bill Hanley. So please join me in welcoming John and Bill to Water Street Bookstore. It's like having Thomas Edison here if you're writing about electricity. <laughs> So we were talking a little bit about the history, right. and I um, wonder if you could give some of the like prehistory, like pre-vaccination. What was the world like pre-vaccination? What was the world like when the first vaccination started? How did you okay, I think we're going to get started now. Um, my name is Jen Mates. I'm the assistant town engineer. I want to thank you guys all for coming out this evening. Um, we're here tonight to talk about the Salem Street Area Utility Improvement Project. Um, we're very early in the design. We really are just gathering information at this point, and that's what we want this meeting to be, is getting input from the residents um, about any issues you may know of in the area that you see need to be addressed relative to utilities and any other um, ideas that you want to discuss about the neighborhood? Well, unfortunately, there are two issues. One is <clears throat> the, our policy that we've worked on for decades, worked under for decades, and we, uh, you know, basically says that if the problem is from the meter in, to the uh, to the user, you know that that system is their responsibility. After a lot of work. The 2020 town election results are in. Declare for Selectman Brown and Brown Triola. For trustee of the Swayze Parkway. Declare David Short, trustee for the trust funds. Kathleen McDougal, Article 7. For the uh, town auditors, committees in the ensuing year, the names of Belanger, Bryden, Canada, Clement, Farham, Brazier, Kelly, Rowan, Tudor, Stevens, Wareham, Christopher, Zygmunt, and Zwan pass. The operating budget. Yes, 1,635, no, 882, Article 8 passes. <coughs> Article 13, $115,000 for the Lincoln Street Parking Report, 1,350, yes, 
1,177 no. Article 13 passes. Nearly all of the articles passed with the exception of Article 4. Yes, 965. No, 1,649. Article 4 fails. To see the full video, head to Exeter TV's YouTube, Facebook, or On Demand. To see the results, go to ExeterNH.gov. That's it for the uh, town elections.